people tend to discount a miracle if it doesn't happen all at once. But when it's all said and done, it's still a miracle. Now, before I tell you of a miracle that's unfolding in our family's lives, let's look at one in the book of John, chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither hath this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. And jumping to verse 6, When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and said unto him, Go, wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation, sent. He went his way therefore, and washed, and came seeing. This was truly a miracle, and it's obvious that it didn't happen all at once. We may not be able to explain why it happened the way that it did, but we know God makes no mistakes. However He chooses to answer our prayers, it's always perfectly in order. And I mentioned earlier that there's a miracle happening right now, and this miracle is ongoing in our family. On July 15th, 2021, my cousin Priscilla gave birth to a beautiful baby boy named Uriah Blaine, and we all call him Blaine. We were in Florida preparing to start a camp meeting when we received word that he was born, and we were absolutely thrilled to see pictures of this adorable newborn baby boy. As weeks passed, Priscilla noticed that something wasn't right with his eyes. He would never look into his mother or his daddy's eyes, and he wasn't tracking or following anything that was placed in front of him at all. And on October 14th, at Blaine's three-month checkup, his pediatrician confirmed that something was wrong and sent Priscilla and the baby to see an ophthalmologist. And this doctor confirmed Priscilla's worst fears Blaine had optic nerve hypoplasia. He was completely blind. The hospital said that he had passed his vision test at birth, but it was a misdiagnosis. And there at the three-month checkup, this doctor said Blaine might have some light perception and possible shadowing in his left eye. His optic nerves were extremely small and underdeveloped, and he explained that these optic nerves do not regrow or regenerate over time. The condition was completely incurable. But this doctor is a believer, and he certainly didn't discourage them from going home and looking to God for a miracle. A few days later, several doctors told Priscilla and her husband Rob that Blaine could also have septo-optic dysplasia, which goes hand-in-hand hand with optic nerve hypoplasia. It's a condition that affects the brain and the pituitary gland, which would stunt his growth and cause a world of other problems. So on October 27th, Blaine had 16 vials of blood drawn. Finally, the baby was exhausted and the doctors couldn't draw any more blood, so they had to go back the following day and take more blood samples. A few days later, all of the blood work came back completely normal, which was absolutely amazing. But the doctors insisted that he could still have septo-optic dysplasia, which, as we mentioned earlier, generally accompanies optic nerve hypoplasia. Before tests could be ran, though, to see if Blaine had this second condition, Priscilla was sitting at home one day holding something shiny in front of Blaine when all of a sudden, for the first time ever, he grabbed for it. Priscilla and Rob looked at each other in disbelief. They knew the doctor said Blaine might 
could see shadows or light perception in his left eye, but absolutely nothing in his right eye. So mommy and daddy both completely blocked his right eye and laid the object on the bed. And then Blaine looked down with his left eye obstructed with only the right eye in view, which the doctor said there's nothing but blackness in this eye. Blaine found that object and picked it up and tried to put it in his mouth. And Priscilla said she took off just rejoicing and running through the house. And both parents knew without a doubt something miraculous had just taken place in their baby's eyes. They rushed to get him an appointment with his ophthalmologist again and that this is the one who's the believer. And this doctor confirmed that Blaine did in fact, gain vision in his right eye. The doctor said he had never witnessed such a thing. And he talked with Priscilla again on the phone afterward, and he said Blaine has improved by leaps and bounds. He said his vision is still a long ways from normal, but it's only God, that was the doctor's words, it's only God that he has come this far. Priscilla was a little disturbed to hear the doctor say that his vision still wasn't normal, but she knew her baby was already doing things he never should have been able to do. And so she chose to keep her focus on the Lord and the fact that God was clearly up to something. After the holidays, Blaine underwent an MRI to check for the septo-optic dysplasia. Several doctors didn't feel that he was growing as fast as he should have, and they basically gave Priscilla no hope that he wouldn't have this additional condition. But, making a long story short, when the results came in, the doctor called with some amazing news. She made sure she was speaking directly with the baby's mother, and she said, Priscilla... Are you a hundred percent sure that your child was born with optic nerve hypoplasia? And she said, yes, ma'am, he was. Priscilla knew she had stacks and stacks of reports proving that original condition. The doctor, she then stammered and stuttered and she said, well, the report that we took today from the MRI is completely normal. She said, it is a miracle that he doesn't have the septo-optic dysplasia because it goes hand in hand with the first diagnosis. And then this doctor asked Priscilla to send that initial diagnosis to her so she could read it for herself. And she told Priscilla, you need to take this baby back to the ophthalmologist again as quick as possible. And that brings us up to today. Priscilla, Rob, and little Blaine are waiting for the next appointment, which is coming up very soon. Blaine is crawling everywhere. He's grabbing for everything. And some may wonder, is his vision 2020? Well, that hasn't been confirmed. For one thing, Blaine is only eight months old and he can't speak for himself. He can't explain what he's seeing and how well he's seeing. But he tracks and follows anything that's held in front of him. And it's obvious to mama, to daddy, to our whole family, and everyone else that God is doing a work in this baby's eyes. And I assure you, we'll share the rest of his story as it unfolds. And right now, we're calling Blaine a miracle in progress. Now, one reason our family isn't confused or disturbed at the thought of a gradual healing is my dad's mother was healed of cancer and the fullest extent of her healing came very gradually with no medical treatments whatsoever and God received all the glory. Some of you know that my dad was healed of rheumatoid arthritis and his healing was gradual. I could go on and on with firsthand stories that we know where the miracle came gradually, peace by peace. And today you may be praying for your healing or for someone in your family. You might be praying for someone's salvation or some other situation that looks completely impossible. And with man, it is impossible. 
But whatever the case may be, keep praying, keep trusting, look for every positive sign and praise God for each and every one because it's highly possible that you too are experiencing a miracle in progress.